Wow, this is an update on the issue of mobile debt. Nigerian police are trying as much as possible to dig out whatever information they can concerning the death of mobile. You know, it has been reported that the nurse who treated mobile before he died has been arrested. It is also said that some other arrests have been made. Yoruba Nollywood actress Yavo Ojo disclosed this on her Instagram page on Wednesday, September 20, 2023 in a live video. She said the police has made some arrests in concerning in connection with the mobile's death. The nurse has been arrested. That I know. That is the only information I can give you right now. They have arrested some people. They are asking some people to turn in to turn themselves in. His father, James Aluba has said in an interview that the suspects that the suspected the suspected Oslari nurse who injected Mobad before he died stressed that the injection might have caused might have complicated his son's health. Mobad died on September 12, 2023. Well, uh, the police are doing um, all they can you know, to make sure they get the full information of what actually happened. And uh, in doing that, they have went it take it taken a step further to apprehend the nurse, just Larry nurse, who administered drug on mobile before he died. Don't forget that nurses does not have the right to to prescribe. What they do, their training is to administer drugs that has been prescribed by doctors. Unfortunately, this person who was arrested is not even a nurse, a qualified nurse. She is an auxiliary nurse. Auxiliary nurse are those nurse that are trained by uh, clinic. Let me put it that way, by clinic to administer drug on their patient. And uh, most times they don't really have the technical knowledge of what and what to do. In terms of prescription, generally nurses are not uh, license to prescribe drug to 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 to, to patient. Do what they are to do is to administer drug, and uh, that is what this um, uh, 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 what they call it the Doslari nurse did to Mobad. Now, as a qualified nurse, you have no right. You you are not qualified to prescribe drug to any patient. But unfortunately, because of the part of the world that we live where everybody wants to cut, cut, cut corner and looking at the 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 situation of mobad you know a, a young artist exposed i'm i begin to wonder why is it that he, he his family and himself has given themselves that this thing to patronize um auxiliary nurse to treat him when he's sick i think uh, this also should be an eye opener to so many people because when you bring in these people to treat you they don't diagnose they don't um, they don't find out what is happening they just ask you a question how are you feeling and with their own knowledge they feel that okay uh this is this drug will take care of it this drug will take care of it which at the end of the day they might be you know actually treating the wrong illness meant so the best way anybody can get treatment and be and be certified that he's treated well is when you approach a normal hospital and you are, you, are, you are diagnosed and at the end of the diagnosis they find out that okay this is what is happening to you this is what happened to you and they cannot prescribe what you can use but unfortunately in this scenario such things were not done what happens is the guy is sick they say there's a nurse beside my house here and they put up a call to the nurse and the nurse came in and say how are you feeling then the guy explained and the nurse administered drugs on him or her. That is what we've been, uh, uh, that has been in, in practice in this part of the world. And not only the ordinary nurse. Another thing I find out is that the, the, the pharmacists are doing the work of doctor. The lab tech guys are doing, people are doing the work of doctor. You know, the ordinary nurse are doing the work of doctor. The nurses itself are doing the work of doctor. So at the end of the day, we have what you call the 
poor health care system it goes around this way so like now at the end if if and the funny thing about this uh, mobile death is that mobile death is that there was no autopsy to prove what actually killed him as far as i'm concerned this might be just a little illness that was not properly taken care of that has terminated the life of this young promising nigeria because of negligence on our part on the part of people themselves because i can't believe that in this time and age people still you know patronize nurses to to, to administer drug on them without due uh, 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 process without prescription from the doctors and knowing what is happening to them even if some i think what some people do, do is that they don't even go to doctor they go to lab they run tests to check to know what is wrong and at the end of the day they take the test result to their nurses and say okay this is my test result this is what they say is wrong with me oh yeah what drug can you administer to me because of experience they've had in the hospital with doctors administering drugs and all that but the truth is these are the things we are facing we can't do things this way and think that everything is going to be fine so this young guy now uh, mobad he's he's gone uh now uh people police are, are investigating to know what killed him you know, and uh, now the nurse that administered drugs on him has been arrested and the question is this when i don't i don't know the fate of this nurse because uh first question is how did he know get his prescription her prescription how did he get her prescription i know that and uh, they said other there are, there are other uh, people that has been arrested also which they were they, they, they didn't mention who they are uh it will be not it will be i believe that with due time police is going to review the name of those people that have been arrested and why they arrested them and uh, their connection with the mobile's death and <clears throat> what they have found out so far about their, uh, their, their about what have you know them and the mobile what, what has caused his illness and all that and the uh, others are asked to turn themselves in i want to believe that those ones that are asked to turn themselves in must be Mara Maria and uh, uh, Sam Larry. You know, those two people are, are nowhere to be found, not a found now. I uh, want to believe those two people are still on the radar of the police. And uh, uh, they, they also want to bring them in to question them concerning what has happened. You know, uh, it is disheartening to see this happen. And I want to say that uh, our, 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 our health system and the, the, the system of our you know uh, health care has contributed to the failure to the death of so many people i can't just imagine that one is sick and the auxiliary nurse who is not uh, professionally trained is the one who is taking care and, and administering drug you know uh, uh prescribing and administering drug on patient well this is just the happening the update on mobile's death i want you to feel free to comment below and also subscribe to our channel for update on this and more thank you